I had a dream and I had a dream. Or four years ago, when, when you have joined the American School of Paris, you had a dream. Getting a professional education, earning business knowledge, leveraging skills, and increasing your international networking. Working with, uh, with different students in different nationalities uh, to grasp their cultural behaviors uh, was a tremendous asset because you need to interact with them, not to offense them, but be able to please them uh, and, and also set up, set up your business strategy with them and also a common language, uh, a common platform in which we can communicate as facilitated the, the things. Uh, you all have now the knowledge to achieve a fantastic career in marketing, in finance, or to become smart entrepreneurs. So once again, bravo. Um, yeah, I want to be an entrepreneur one day. Even if it's my own little uh, dream shop um, with, my, with my hobby that I turn into reality uh, one day. So my future dream is to, is to work in a hotel company, like preferably abroad, maybe in Egypt or in the Middle East, in hotel chain or luxury hotels, as a sales manager or key account manager. I haven't written a bestseller yet. Still, I'm hoping to bring you a message of hope, basically, and a message that you need to dare to dream in order to basically grasp all of the opportunities that are open to you now that you graduate. Um, I wish all the graduates of this year um, Stay focused always, listen to your dreams, listen to your heart. At the end, that's all that matters. You need to be able to enjoy what you wake up for every single day. Go on and strive and create your own future. Dare to dream. Thank you. I remember meeting my classmates the first day of school. They were American, Vietnamese, Canadian, Algerian, German, Lebanese, and all had international aspirations. I want to be part of the Algerian development. Uh, I was lucky to have my studies here and to earn a lot of knowledge and I wanted to bring it back in Algeria. Thank you very much. I'm usually very comfortable uh, in speeches, but now, first of all, because of the emotion and second of all, because I saw Mr. Rukabina, my speech teacher, was over there. <laughs> But ABS told me that Vietnam could also be sharing team spirit, values and ethics. Remember maybe this last sentence from Mike Train who said they did not they did not know it was impossible, so they did it. So I'd like to think about that. I thank you for your time and now it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> I will declare the class of 2013 has graduated. <laughs>